Good evening, everyone. I'm Dan Rascone here with Debbie Worthen. Thanks for being with us tonight. A group of teenagers in trouble with the law tonight after vandalizing a Salt Lake City business and it appears animals were the target. Staff members at Cactus and Tropical say teenagers trashed their koi pond and tried to kill the fish swimming inside. News specialist Shelby Lofton joins us from the plant nursery. And Shelby, this was a bizarre break-in that was caught on camera. The surveillance footage is crystal clear. The general manager of Cactus and Tropicals told me as soon as she posted the faces of those vandals on social media, they were named and turned into police. Beyond the aisles of flowers and rows of pots at Cactus and Tropicals is a serene sanctuary home to many animals. Some of them have been in there for more than 20 years. Kathy Harbin is in the business of nurturing and growing life. A break-in that nearly resulted in the death of her koi fish was disturbing, she says. They poured a lot of toxic chemicals into the pond, um, ant poison and different fertilizers. Images captured on surveillance video show five to six teenagers trashing the pond and... Them in the pond with metal stakes, like stabbing around, you know, trying to stab them, also chasing them with brooms. Harbin says they flooded parts of the nursery. We try to be so careful about conserving water and then uh, like five hoses were just on full blast for hours. When her employees came to work, they immediately knew something was wrong. We knew we had to get them out right away, so the guys put on rubber boots and went in there, and we just spent a couple hours trying to catch them. None of the 20 fish were killed, but Harbin says the incident impacted her staff. We had employees that were in tears. There are people who every day they come in here and try to make this be a beautiful space. Harbin and her team posted pictures of the group at fault online. And we started getting tips from people almost immediately. She says every person has been identified and their name was sent to police. But I hope that they are held accountable at some level um, because it feels like if they are going to be, if they're able to do that to living things, that they need some help. Harbin said all of that wasted water and the cost of cleaning up the pond was very expensive. She said she would appreciate some reimbursement from the individuals who did this, and she's upping her security. Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.